Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over 10 games that define the Magnavox Odyssey 2, which is also known as the Philips Video Pack in other regions. This is not a best of list, but rather games that I personally most associate with the Odyssey 2. If you're familiar with the system, you may have your own unique list, which I encourage you to put in the comments below. If you're not familiar with the Odyssey 2, it came out in 1979 to compete with the Atari 2600, which at that time was known as the Atari Video Computer System. It featured a built-in keyboard and later a voice module that added voice to some games, but it lacked strong third-party support and official ports of many popular arcade games, although it did have several copycat style games games. It sold over a million systems, but its success was limited and it wouldn't make it past the early 80s. Now, let's get to the games that defined the Odyssey 2. Let's start with Speedway, which is also known as Race for the Video Pack. This was part of the original pack and cartridge that also included two other games, Spin Out and Crypto Logic. The premise is simple, get as far as you can, as fast as you can, while avoiding crashing with cars before the timer runs out. There are two variations, the slow one is fairly easy, but the fast version can really present a good challenge. For many Odyssey 2 owners, this was the first game they ever played. Next is Bowling, also known as 10-pin bowling on the video pack. This was on a cartridge that also included basketball, and it's a basic bowling game. The ball goes back and forth on the bottom, either at a slow speed or fast speed, depending on the game variation you choose. Pressing the button releases the ball, and you can use the joystick after to curve the ball. It's not the greatest bowling game of its generation, but it was one of those games that was easy to pick up and play on a rainy day. Next I have Computer Golf, which is simply known as Golf on the video pack. Those familiar with the Atari 2600 Golf game may think that this is a copy, but the Odyssey 2 version actually came out first. Move your golfer to aim, hold the button down to start your swing, and release it to swing. Learning to properly aim is probably the toughest challenge in the game, but it's easy enough to learn. When you get on the green, the screen zooms in, which was actually pretty impressive at the time. It can also be fun to watch your golfer throw a tantrum after the ball hits a tree. Next, we have Cosmic Conflict. Fly in space and shoot 15 ships. And that's pretty much the game. It hasn't aged that well, but for kids in the late 70s and early 80s, it helped scratch that itch that was given to us by the early Star Wars films as well as Star Trek reruns on TV. It even features generic TIE fighters for you to take down. Next I have Helicopter Rescue. This was on a cartridge that also included the game Out of This World, which sadly has nothing to do with the 80s sitcom about a half alien teenage girl who could freeze time by touching her fingertips together. Now that deserved a video game. Anyways, in Helicopter Rescue, you pilot a helicopter rescuing people from a building one at a time until the timer runs out. Europe did not get this game, but Philips would release a different game with the same title later on for the upgraded Video Pack Plus. This version is nothing special, but it was one of my favorites as a kid and features some great helicopter sounds for the system. Next, we have the Space Invaders-inspired Alien Invaders Plus. 
This was known as Space Monster on the video pack and honestly, I like that name better. Your goal in the game is to shoot 10 robots that are firing cannons at you and then the Space Monster who will attack you head on once you've cleared the robots. Do so and you earn a point. If you get shot, you actually run on foot to underneath the shield where you can press the button to turn the shield into another ship. If you use all of your shields, the Space Monster will also come down to attack you head on and if you are shot outside of your ship the computer gets a point the first to 10 points wins for a space invader style game it's actually pretty fun with enough changes to separate it from other space invader clones popping up at the same time Next we have Casino Slot Machine, which was given the name Las Vegas Gambling on the video pack for generic reasons. It's a slot machine, so there really isn't any skill involved with this one beyond deciding how much to bet, up to a whole dollar per line, and which lines to bet on. Really isn't much of a game, like I said. It's just stuck in my memory because of how the screen changed colors and made repetitive sounds when you actually got a good combination. Next we have UFO which was known as Satellite Attack on the video pack. I definitely like the UFO name better. This game seems to have taken some inspiration from asteroids. The unique aspect is your force field with a large dot that surrounds your ship. The dot rotates as you move around and determines the direction that you fire. When you hit an enemy or an object it can explode into pieces that can make a satisfying chain reaction of explosions. Your shield can also be used used as a weapon, but it temporarily disappears when you ram into something or while firing. The game also features some of my favorite sounds on the system. Next is Pickaxe Pete. This Donkey Kong-esque game has you playing as a miner who can jump over boulders or destroy them when you have a pickaxe in your hand. Ladders randomly show up to help you move to other platforms. When two boulders collide, they can create a pickaxe that falls to the bottom or a key that floats to the top. If you get the key and touch one of the three doors, you can advance to the next level that is mostly the same but may take away a portion of the platforms. This is a great game and I remember getting up early just to play a few rounds before school. Finally, we have Casey Munchkin. It plays a lot like Pac-Man, except the dots actually move around the maze, getting faster as you eat other dots. The game also features variations with maze walls that disappear when you move, and an editor where you can make your own maze, but there is no way to save your creation. This game was pulled off of the shelves after a lawsuit for its similarities to Pac-Man, but not before selling a bunch of copies. It's still fun to play and highly recommended.
So there you go, my list of games that define the Magnavox Odyssey 2. As mentioned earlier, feel free to share your definitive Odyssey 2 games in the comments below, after you hit the like and subscribe buttons of course, and I will see you next time.